Hey guys, so I am super stoked as we are going to watch our first Cambodian kickboxing event. Hey! So, I actually met a guy in Siem Reap and trained at his gym and he is the president or promoter of this show tonight. So he sorted us out some free tickets, although I do think they're free anyway, and told us to come down. So I may seem a little bit steaming, that's because I am. We've been at a pool party all day, but we're on our way to the Chip Mong Mall in Phnom Penh to watch Kung Kerma. First, we've got to race across the city, get ourselves there, and then we can sit down, sink a few beers, and soak up the traditional Cambodian martial arts atmosphere. We've arrived and it is way better than expected. There's like tens of thousands of people sitting on tables and standing outside a massive mall in Phnom Penh. The fights haven't started yet, but it looks like a proper festival atmosphere here. There's beer, there's food. It's only local, so we're the only Westerners we've seen. So I'm super stoked to have a look at the fights tonight. Obviously you've got the ring in the middle, but you've got like five or six big screens everywhere. So wherever you're sitting, you can see the fight. Next up, time to grab ourselves a drink. The whole area was lined with stores which sold beer, energy drinks and soft drinks. Even walking around, everyone was smiling and waving at us. The drinks here are also very reasonable. Like real local prices, local event. I think it's like 2,000, which is 50 cents or like 40p for a beer and Abby's Red Bull and the vodka we snuck, snuck in from the shop are like a dollar or less so it's proper cheap, proper authentic and proper local prices. The energy is absolutely crazy here, the place is filling up, there's kids with light up balloons, there's food, there's beers, there's loads of families and yeah we're waiting for the first fight to start so oh and I think it might be starting. As the first fight began, it was clear that the community that Gaz loved in Thailand for Mai Tai was exactly the same here in Cambodia for Khe Khmer. A friendly crowd with bond over their love of the sport. So the crowds are going absolutely crazy. The fights have just started. I think the good thing about this is it's a completely free event. So everyone's having a great time. We're soaking up the atmosphere. And yeah, this is why we travel. <laughs> now we've made really good friends with the family opposite of They've got three little kids that are like running riot but they're so funny. But yeah, there's no, we don't know how to speak a word to each other but we keep cheersing about ten times. <laughs> <laughs> like every fight, so yeah, it's a proper interaction with the locals. <laughs> it doesn't matter what language you speak, a cheers and a high five seems to be a universal language. So we've had 
Four fights so far all have ended in a knockout, but they've been really close fights, really good matches, and yeah, really good atmosphere so far. So not going to lie, in between fights we didn't have a clue what was going on as they were broadcasting in Cambodian. But they did play some vibey music and occasionally blast out some fire, really adding to the atmosphere. So we came here for the fight to soak up some of the martial arts culture. My channel Fight is not subscribe. And now we've ended up with an awesome family just soaking up some local culture, interacting with people. And really, this is the best part of traveling. So pick something you like doing, whether it's like swimming, running, martial arts, playing chess, whatever it is. And then go and find local people that do it. And then you get experiences like this. Yeah, you get to really get immersed in the culture. I barely even watch the fights. I've just been playing with the family the whole night. No, I've just not even watched the fights. No, I'm here like. I'm here adopted part of the family by this point. I've been eating with them, we've been drinking, oh it's great, it's been fantastic. But now we're going to get in there, get to the front and obviously get close to the action. Wow, what an experience, eh? Yeah, they were one of the nicest families I've ever met. Yeah, so and, like, lovely. There was, there was literally the biggest language barrier you could imagine but somehow we managed to communicate through yeah. smiles waves, and most importantly beer <laughs> all right guys epic night if you enjoyed the video make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one this is us now Bao, 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 bao,